Hello and welcome to another card making video. Today I'm going to have fun with girls. I'm going to play with the new Mrs. Collection. This is a new addition to the very popular collection by Studio Light. And uh, there are new stamps that you can play with to customize your faces. These are quite smaller in size and you get lots of hair, lots of uh, eyes, mouths, hairstyles and even many sentiments that you can play with. Now in the Mrs. Collection there are also dies. The dies will give you a bigger size of a girl that really makes a statement on top of a card. The new die is called Primarina and you can mix and match all the different elements with the previous collection if you already have that. There is also a new stamp set that gives you pets for your girls as well as sentiments. I'm going to create two cards today so you can see how everything works and I'm starting with the dies. For die cutting all my elements I'm going to use these paper pads. The first part is going to give you great skin tones in a variety of colors along with hair and the second one has more pastel colors that you can use for the outfits. The fun part about this die set is that it doesn't only give you the dies, it also includes a small stamp set that includes eyes, mouth as well as jewelry and sentiments. And I'm going to do my die cutting. I'm using one side of this paper to cut out uh, parts for the hair and the other side to cut out the actual skin. I'm also going to use this yellow pattern paper and I'm going to cut out the main body one more time since I want to create an outfit out of that part. I also cut out that body one more time from white cardstock and now I'm playing with dies included in the kit that can be used to create different outfits. Now I do have all the cutouts ready to go and it is time to assemble my girl. I'm starting with the face, stamping the eyes and the nose and uh, you can be more creative than me and you can use different colors for the eyes for example, different colors of ink or you can use uh, for the mouth pink or red to give her some lipstick. I'm going just simply with black. If you want to bring your girl more to life, you can do some uh, coloring on top of her. So here, for example, I'm just adding a little bit of uh, pink for her cheeks. But you can do that with your alcohol markers if you feel more comfortable. I just like this brush because it doesn't add too much and I know I can easily blend it out. I'm also going to give her some shading on the face so that she doesn't look as flat. I'm not overdoing it, just a shade darker is going to do the trick and of course you can do that with your alcohol markers as well. An easy way to go if you like coloring with alcohol markers is to cut out everything out of white cardstock and then go and color all the parts. And since I'm going with brown hair, I'm adding uh, a touch of uh, inking on all the brown parts, just a shade darker than the actual cardstock. And I'm repeating the same steps for all the cutouts. So here for her outfit I'm going with uh, an orange on the sides as well as on her ribbons for the hair. And although I am using this girl for a card today, don't forget that this is quite big so it would make a great focal point for an art journal as well if you are into mixed media. You can even give her wings or add lots of flowers on her hair. The sky is the limit really. Now of course the die set gives you many different options for the hair, I just went with the two bands on each side which I find really adorable. And you can use just one at the top, you can have them even lower, just changing the hair and the facial expression is going to give a completely different look on your girl and a completely different character. So I'm sticking the yellow outfit on top. And my girl is pretty much ready, I'm going to give her a necklace, so I'm stamping that with black ink and later on I'm going to add gems along that necklace to give some sparkle on my card. I did cut out a couple of strands for her hair, I'm going to stick them there. And you can have so many different variations using different colors for the outfit, different colors for the skin tone, as well as for the hair, different styles and colors. The sky is the limit really with this type of uh, dyes. Now to bring her more to life I'm using my white gel pen and I'm going to add some white on her eyes. It is a little detail that really makes a difference since it helps those eyes pop even more. A little heart is also included in the set so I did cut it out and I'm going to stick it there just as an embellishment. And finally let's put together the card so you can see how big it is. This is a standard card that I'm going for, A to size 4.25 by 5.5. 
I do have a panel that is slightly smaller on the edges, so you can see that pattern paper with the rainbow colors that I used underneath. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of my girl and stick her on top of my panel. So you can see here how big she is. She really makes a statement as a focal point on top of a card. It makes it really easy to make cards since uh, it is a big focal point and you don't really need to add anything. Just a simple hello for example or a small sentiment on the side and you are ready to go. And this hello was uh, one of the dies in the same set along with a speech bubble that I'm working on now. I just cut it out from the same cardstock as I did uh, for her dress and uh, so everything matches perfectly. I also die cut a white hello which I'm going to stick on top of that speech bubble. And with some foam tape at the back I'm going to pop it on top of my card. Now I'm going to give her some jewelry and I do have these gems as, as well as these epoxy stickers. I am playing around and trying to decide which ones I want to use. These are all included in the Simon Says Stamp card kit, the June card kit, and I keep them on my desk so that I can use them again and again on my upcoming cards. So I decided to go with the yellow gems and I'm going to give her two of them in a row. You can also use those as earrings if you like. I do have those hair strands, so I'm not going to give her earrings, but it is an option for you. And here are some close-up photos on the first card for today, where I used the Mrs. dies to create a big girl. Now for the next card I'm going to use the stamp set. This is going to end up in a smaller girl, but I can still play along and create even the same look as the first card. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to play and try to recreate the first card, but smaller. And since my girl is going to be smaller, it is not going to take as much space on top of my card, so I can add even more elements, and I'm going with a pet. And of course the stamp set gives you many options, different eyes, I went with these ones, different hairstyles, of course I went with the buns, since I am trying to recreate the first card, a big variety of mouths and different expressions, and of course different options for her outfit. You will also find necklaces or uh, earrings, lots and lots of options to play with and you can come up with so many different looks just with one stamp set. You even get glasses, I don't know if you can see that. It is a really fun stamp set to play with and to have in your stash. I didn't have anything similar and I like how unique it is. And now I'm grabbing my alcohol markers, I'm going to give her some color. And since I cannot stay away from dimension on my cards, I'm going to cut her out. I am leaving a little bit of a white border all around her. This makes the fuzzy cutting easier. And it's going to give me the opportunity to use some foam tape later on and pop her on my card. I'm going to do the same thing for the cut with the balloon. And I also created a Polaroid frame by using a square die inside a rectangle die. I'm going to use this blue pattern paper and I'm going to use that as the background for my Polaroid photo. I'm just going to glue that down and cut out the excess with my scissors. And I didn't add too much glue at the bottom of that Polaroid so that I can easily tuck inside my girl. You will see what I mean in a bit. Just make sure that you don't have glue all the way to the edges at the bottom. And what I usually do with my cutouts is to audition them, just uh, put them down, try to decide where I want them to go. Once I'm happy, I can use some foam tape at the back and stick them down. I'm also going to use the smile sentiment. This comes from the clear stamp Basic Wishes. It is a great stamp set that has a lovely script sayings along with typed font. I like to combine those two. And now here I'm just playing with different elements. These are clouds, a cloud die that I had in my stash. I just cut out a couple of clouds. I'm going to stick them there to embellish the Polaroid a little bit more and to give the illusion that the cat is actually flying with a balloon up at the sky. And you can see that just by having that girl smaller, I can do lots and lots of things on top of the card. So I can have a pet, I can even create a Polaroid that fits on top of an A2 standard card size. Now I'm going to give her one of those dots. It's an enamel dot and it's going to work as her necklace. 
I do have foam tape at the back of my Polaroid photo. I'm going to stick it on top of a panel and the panel is slightly smaller than the standard card. I went with pink for that. It matches the colors of her flowers in the outfit. And I also added a little um, pink heart for the tittle on the letter I. And I completed the sentiment with it's your birthday. I did uh, stamp that with uh, Versamark ink and white embossed it. This also comes from the same stamp set with the sentiments as the word smile. And finally to finish it off I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. It's an A2 sized card base and you can see a little border, white border all around. Now, just to finish it off and to add a touch of fun, I'm going to use those washi tapes. These are from the same Mrs. Collection and I'm going to cut out a couple of pieces and stick them on top and at the bottom of the Polaroid as if these are the ones that is holding the Polaroid on top of my card. And here are the two cards where you can see better the difference in sizes by using the stamps or the dies. I absolutely love the variety and the options that it gives you. So these were the cards for today, as I was playing with the Mrs. Collection by Studio Light. They are super fun to play with and I highly recommend them. You will find links to everything I used down below in the description area, just like always. Don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired and that you will all have a lovely day.